okay let's talk about the first time setup of metasploit where you have to set up your database for metasploit so in this video we'll see how do we set up the database for metasploit these are the commands which you have to execute for do the setup i'll give this in the description of the video so let's do it and see how it is done the first command is this you just have to take it go to your terminal and then just execute it okay if you don't see any errors that means it is executed properly then the second command is msfdb init p is executed okay in my case the database is already connected so you're seeing this uh, but actually if you run it for the first time it will say that the database connection is successful post this is done you can go to this config folder and look for a file name called database.yml so just go here and do a list to see if your database.yml is present post that just do a copy copy the database.yml from this folder to root and .msf4 folder in my case it is already there so i wouldn't be copying it again okay but you have to do this post doing this you can change to the required folder and just make sure that the file is there okay you have it here once it you confirm that it's been it's present in this msf4 folder then you can start your msf console in quiet mode msf console in quiet mode and at the end you can check for the db status it will give you the base connected it takes some time to start your msf console i uh, will just wait for 30 to 40 seconds post that we'll see the db status and close it taking some time Okay, we are in MSF console. 
now just check dp status and it says postgres sql connected to msf